Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. And I would like to say, before I get this review kicked off, welcome to 2019. I'm so glad to be back here. Um, I know I haven't posted in about three months. I apologize. Things have just been crazy. But here we are on January 11th, and I cannot be more excited to be filming this for you guys. Because today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Captain Marvel figurine. Um, this is based off the Captain Marvel movie that is coming out in March, I'm pretty sure. March of 2019. Um, played by Brie Larson. As you can see up here, it says Marvel Legends series, Captain Marvel, accompanied by her furry sidekick, Goose. Captain Marvel suits up to defend the universe from intergalactic threats. And you can see all the other figures in the wave. You have Captain Marvel, Nick Fury, um, Talos, another Captain Marvel, um, Yon Rogue, Rock, Marvel's Grey Gargoyle, and what is that? Janice Vale? I'm not sure. Um, there is a build a figure which is Cree Sentry. He's right there. Um, I probably won't be collecting all of the ones in this wave just because I kind of just wanted Captain Marvel. Um, I just recently have gotten into the Marvel Universe, and I love it so much better than DC. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to say that one is better than the other. If you love DC more than Marvel, I go ahead. But I think the Marvel movies, to me, are just a little bit better and more coherent than the DC movies. Sorry, not sorry. Um, um, up at the top, you see her little design, which is on her, um, chest, Legend series, Captain Marvel, Hasbro, then a whole bunch of crap at the bottom, and, yeah, and you already saw the back of the packaging, here's the side, and here's the other side. Now, what's really funny about these figurines, or not funny, but just surprising to me, is how expensive they are. Like, I haven't really collected a lot of figurines in a while, but I forgot how expensive the habit is. I mean, um, I got this one, and I got another Captain Marvel uh, from the same series. So, yeah, they were $20 a piece, which is a little bit hefty, but thank God I work at Walmart and I get a discount. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this up here. I think it, I think it can open from the bottom, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Doesn't seem... Oh, please slide out with ease. She doesn't come with a stand, I don't believe, but her feet look flat, so she should stand fine. And she's... Okay, cool. So that just slips off here, and I'm assuming that she just gets pulled it out. Yeah, there we go. She gets pulled it out. You can see uh, that guy's hand. What's his name? Cree. Cree's hand. Alright, so here she is out of the packaging, and she looks nice, I'd say. Um... Like Mr. Brie Larson? Um, it's around there. <laughs> I mean, it's in the same neighborhood. Let's just put it that way. I don't think it's 100%, but honestly, what figurine is, to be honest. I mean, I even seen prototypes of the SH figure arts, and even that one doesn't look exactly 100%, but I can see what they what they're going for. So there's her friend Goose. She looks really nice. I really like I really like her outfit. I mean her uh her suit. It's nice. Oh, what does the back say? Hmm. It's cool. Um, I don't really want to take the the cat out of her hand. 
just because I, I feel like I'd have trouble getting it up there. But it does really look like, it, I mean, eh, it kind of looks like her. I would say the first figure of her in this wave looks more like her than um, this one does. Mostly because her hair is all swooped to one side, I, th I think. And so it kind of looks, <laughs> it kind of looks odd, but, you know, that's, that's fine. But as far as articulation goes, she has 360 in the head, and she has a hinge. I'm assuming that can hinge. Wow, it hinge really far down and really far up. So that's good. Um, I'm assuming she has 360 rotation in the elbow, then go up and down. Same thing for the shoulder and for the wrist. I'm assuming it's a swivel and side to side. For the legs, you have great articulation in the legs. She can kick all the way out. There is a rotation up here at the upper thigh. She has a double jointed knee. Let's see if I can show that off. Yep. She has a double jointed knee. And she even has um, a swivel and up and down movement. Yeah, there we go. Up and down movement in the foot. However, what I think is really weird is that they actually included peg holes on her. They actually included peg holes on her. But, I mean, she doesn't come with a stand, which, I mean, at the price of 20 bucks, a stand would be nice if it was included. Like, I'm not trying to say, I'm like, I'm not trying to be, like, major gripey here, but I just wish that some of these would come with a stand. Because, you know, out of seeing, out of seeing the trailer for Captain Marvel, you can see that she does do really cool poses. And, um, I feel like it'd be easier to get her in poses if she came with a stand, to be honest. But you can see her little, uh, emblem slash crest on her chest there and I think her outfit overall looks really cool I'm not exactly sure why she's wearing this military jacket but I, I mean I think that's military looks military but that I mean that's still cool overall I might um I did get the first uh figure of her in this wave um I kind of want to take her out of the box but I also don't because um, she's in a really cool pose, but like I said, they don't come with any stands, so that's kind of why I've been reluctant on doing it, but the kitty cat's cool. I wonder if we're going to see more of the cat in the film. I know I really can't wait for the film, so that's, so that's really something I'm looking forward to in March. I wish it wasn't so far away, though, because I know that she's going to be in her own film, Captain Marvel, and she was alluded to be in Avengers Endgame, which I can't wait for as well. It's going to be really cool to look at, but I'm really hyped for Captain Marvel. Like like I said, I, I just recently got into the uh, Marvel Universe, and I'm really glad I did. I mean, th I feel like the DC Universe, they do their best, but there's always something... They leave kind of something to be desired. I mean, my favorite movie out of all of them is Wonder Woman. Just because I thought that was a really good movie. Um, But yeah. Yeah, this has been my review on Captain Marvel. It's figurine. Which is nice. Sorry if I'm being a little awkward. It's been a little while since I've done any of these reviews. So, uh, yeah. But first, let's see how she stands. I might do that off camera. Well, I mean, she has a lot of articulation, to be honest. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, she stands very well. She stands very easily. So, I mean, a stand, she doesn't need it. But would have been nice to be included so you could get her into, like, a little more pose action if you really wanted to i believe so i mean stands are always a plus i mean you can really never go wrong when you have a stand but yeah i think this is a really good figure i think if she were 20 dollars eh, i mean she comes with a really cute kitty cat so that's cool but i just wish there was a stand included i'm not trying to be super gripey but i just wish stands were more included to be were like more inclusive 
nowadays, especially with figures like these. Because you could just take the cat out of her hand and get her into some pretty cool poses. But since I'm going to keep the cat in her hand, I'm not going to not gonna take the cat out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while, but now I am back. And I can't wait to see what 2019 has to bring. Alright guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the Puddin' family. And I'll see you guys in the next video.